All right, what's up? Going to be talking about Horus and uh, Speedy placements today. So I'll be getting some questions about, you know, how should I place these two units when I do have both of them at the same time? So I think to start off, it's important to address that a uh, Horus 180% attack speed buff here is not affected by star level and it's not affected by monster level either, right? So Horus will always have um, the same speed buff as Speedy or a higher speed buff as Speedy does not have maxed out stars and maxed out level, right? Um, and so when you think about these units at their full potential Horus is basically just speedy um except he can exert damage that uh that can help with chipping down enemies I guess um and when you take that into account of how you want to place your monsters you want to think about placing Horus up front uh whereas speedy goes uh towards the back of your setup because you want Horus to get more damage value um and you want Horus to also be on your carry more importantly um if he does have a higher damage buff than speedy right I'd say you know one sort of situation uh, where well, you do put Horus, let's say, in the back here. Um, if your speedy does have a uh, does have a lower amount of attack speed buff, is when you're using a backline carry, right? Let's say you're utilizing a Slime King here. Um, that like the damage of you know a lower level Horus or even like a higher level Horus, depending on what stage of the game you're in, is not super significant. Um, so when you are thinking about positioning Horus, it's more so about the speed boost um, than the damage. Uh, when you are thinking about, you know, if Horus does have that higher speed boost than uh, than Speedy, right? Let's say you have a Speedy in this situation, um, and that Speedy is only capable of achieving like a 170% attack speed boost or like a 160% attack speed boost. In that scenario, because Horus attack speed boost is higher, um, you put him behind Speedy, uh, even though you're losing some damage on his basic attacks. Um, it's more important to get a higher speed boost on your carry, right? Horus again is chip damage, never really going to be main damage. Um, however, if you can utilize that chip damage better, utilize it. But that speed boost is your first priority, right? If this speedy has a lower speed boost than Horus, you're using a backline carry. Um, just utilize that Horus in the backline here, um, just so you can uh, you can boost up your carry more because that's where the majority of your damage is going to be coming from, right? Um, however, in other situations, when you are not using this sort of backline carry, um, and Horus does not have you know that higher amount of speed buff than Speedy, they're going to be equal in speed buff, right? And when you think about utilizing the units like this, again, what I said before, you want to put Horus more so up front so that Horus can get that uh, that extra chip damage value, right? Let's say you want to use stuns up front. Um, you get Horus here, um, and then you get your uh, you get your stun slow combo or something like that, and you're putting Horus up front so Horus can deal that chip damage, um, and then you're putting Speedy in the back so that Speedy can boost up your backline carry, right? In this scenario, if you were to put Horus in the back here, Horus wouldn't be getting as much damage value. Speedy wouldn't really be getting damage value in the front line here, and they both have the same amount of speed buff anyways, um, so you just want to maximize the extra value that Horus brings. So, yeah, it's pretty much what I just want to talk about in this video, just thinking about, um, you know, placing the Horus and placing the Speedy, understanding that the first priority is the speed boost, right? However, the second priority is going to be um, the chip damage from Horus. Uh, it's more important that you boost up your carries damage than it is to utilize what little damage Horus could provide. Um, again, this is sort of situational, I guess. It does depend on your Horus level. It does depend on the carry you have access to. But I'd say, you know, maybe in like 10 out of 11 situations, um, that speed boost is going to be more important than the extra damage Horus brings to the table. That's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope I wasn't too unclear on what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, see ya.